Hello YouTubers, this is the Anubifier, it's Wednesday, and I suppose that means patch 310 is out of EVO and into wave 1 PTU. Here's a summary of the patch notes and therefore an indication of what you can expect in 4 minutes and 13 seconds. This kind of video works best if you just close your eyes and pretend it's an audiobook. Let me soothe you. The patch testing focus is testing the new ship flight balance in and out of atmosphere, assessing the updated building blocks ship UI, high-speed combat changes which incentivize doing combat at lower speeds, a huge turret overhaul gameplay, a refresh to the M50, yippee, testing and suggesting fixes for electron weapons and electron damage, the body dragging mechanics, the new citizen trading app, new targeting methodology, and the delivery mission systems. There's a large list of known issues that we're quite used to. I'm going to link the patch notes in the description if you'd like to examine them in greater detail. Some of them are pretty game-breaking. You can now customize your Moby Glass in a new store at New Babbage on Microtech. Left Shift and Z is the default key binding for the new helmet visor wiper. The bartenders added at locations throughout the system, adding to your immersion and offering drinks. Hostile NPC will now use cover in an attempt to offer a harder challenge, and they're also going to use new tactics at their disposal. The new player app allows you to trade funds with another player on or offline, but there is a service charge. There's a new inner thought option to drag bodies, however, you're not defenseless as you can equip a hand weapon when committed to this action. The big one that I'm looking at, and it's probably going to be a couple videos, the thruster efficiencies, the jerk, and the aerodynamics. Thrusters behave generally weaker in atmosphere, especially on larger and larger ships. They're more prone to overheating if you abuse the afterburner. So, be gentle on the first time that you try to land your 890 jump planet side and expect a more deliberate time to leave atmosphere. Ships are also going to see the effects of aerodynamics in lift and drag. You'll experience crosswind and damage will adversely alter your expected flight path. Jerk is a measure of how quickly the ship's acceleration changes. Thrusters do not respond immediately to changes in acceleration anymore. Expect weightier feeling ships, but with similar levels of maneuverability. Electron damage performs energy, distortion, and stun damage all at once, and they can daisy chain out to nearer objects. Ship systems will now suffer consequences of traveling at higher speeds in an attempt to lower the speed of combat. When flying over SCM speeds, weapon accuracy, gimbal aim assists, and missile lock speeds are going to be negatively affected. Over SCM, you can still lock missiles. However, you'll need to slow down below SCM to release. There was an updated UI that's probably going to get its own video. Cole's notes are we now have improved contrast, better information, better tracking direction, plus the new PIP system that improves both fixed and assisted gimbal aiming. For me, this is make or break, as it's important to have a homogeneous flight model dialed in and balanced for the release of Squadron 42. Be careful locking targets, as that can now be seen as a threatening action, which spools up your targeting computer. Pin targets will share automatically with crew members, allowing for teamwork in dealing with the threat. There's a frustrating quantity of new keybinds. I have them listed on the screen. I really hope that they don't rely on numpad, as most people I know, including myself, use a 10 keyless keyboard. Finally, the green tinted P72 is available, and there are also new paints available. You can buy them with AUEC at logical locations throughout the system. There's a new sniper and pistol weapon with electron-based damage. There's a new ballistic SMG. Day-night cycles will alter the ambient temperature and affect your player survivability. Grim Hex was expanded and has a larger landing area. Hangars in general got a polish. Planets in general got a polish. Oceans got polish. Delivery missions were improved. Prison missions were expanded to provide more things for you to do if escape isn't how you want to go. Impounding warnings were added to give you an opportunity to correct the issue before getting a criminal stat or a fine. The RAWs or restricted area over the urban areas were adjusted and now include a tunnel system to visually guide you. Deviating from the tunnel will result in autopilot taking over. Turret gameplay was fully reworked, resulting in deadly turrets and a reason to now occupy them. I'm going to probably do a video guide just on that. ESP or extra stick precision is an aim aid for fixed weapons. It was said to be fixed. Many ship had hard points moved or adjusted. I would love to do a video just on those. And there was a laundry list of bug fixes and quality of life improvements. That's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Please consider sharing this video to your friends or orgmates, as it really does help me. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.